These are the three phones I promised to make comparison video about in my previous review video. This is the Infinix Smart 7 Plus for 72,000 Naira. And this is the Technopop 7 Pro and the price is 67,000 Naira. Meanwhile, this little guy right here is the ITEL A60 and the price is 46,000 Naira. These are the latest budget devices from Techno, Infinix and ITEL company and in comparison with the officials, these devices are so cheap. Normally, I would not compare 46,000 Naira phone with these two bad guys right here, but they all share something in common, which is the basis for this comparison. For the second time, I created a post on YouTube, but this time, it's a photo of these three phones. I asked, currently working on a script for the comparison video of the Smart 7 Plus, ITEL A60 and POP 7 Pro. What would you like me to add? What area of comparison do you want me to look into? Let me know and I will be sure to add it. I got a comment from David Joshua, Oseni Daniel, Samuel, Cyril and Jepo. This is the comment from Cyril. Help me check if they can match each other cases. I guess he wants to know if the back case of one of these devices can fit into the back of the other devices. Hmm. No. It won't work. Though they have similar designs, there are slight differences in their dimensions. I tell A60 is a bit bigger and the POP7 Pro has the smallest dimension. Also, the A60 comes with USB 2.0 port at the bottom and an audio jack at the top, while the other phones support USB Type-C charging port and an audio jack at the bottom. So the case of one of these phones will not match the other, but it might interest you to know that the same tray is the same for all the phones. Like, I can just remove the tray of any of the phones and fit it into another one. It will work perfectly fine. Joseph Banda also made a comment that kind of sums up all the other comments together. He says, Anything that tears them apart because from all physical indications, they look like the same with different names. Camera module are a bit rounder than the other just to tell us that they are different. Looking forward to what you will find. So Banda, let's outline the basic similarities and differences first. These are the quick specs. OTG for the Smart 7 Plus and POP7 Pro. 6000 mAh battery for the Smart 7 Plus and 5000 mAh for the other phones. Type-C USB port for the Smart 7 Plus and POP7 Pro and USB 2.0 for ITEL A60. An octa-core processor for the Smart 7 Plus and a quad-core processor for the POP7 Pro and ITEL A60. In the box, Smart 7 and POP7 have the same 10W chargers. The only thing that changed is the branding. 10W charger for the ITEL A60. And just in case you are curious, the Techno POP7 Pro will charge faster. Although it has the same charging capacity as the Infinix Smart 7 Plus, it only has 5000 mAh battery against the 6000 mAh battery of the Smart 7 Plus. If you want to know how long it takes to fully charge these batteries, go to the description section to find the review video of these phones. The like button is not far from your finger, so please click on it. I really need you to like this video like right now. And if you think that the information I provide in this video is valuable, then subscribing to my channel is a way of motivating me, so please also subscribe as well. The most common features that these devices share is their design. It's a known fact that just one phone manufacturer, Traction Holding, owns these three brands, Techno, Infinix and ITEL. But the similarity in the design of these phones tells the story louder than anyone can. The interpretation is that these three devices here, although produced under different branding, belongs to just one group. Here we have all three phones with plastic bodies and frames. They maintain the same design in the camera section but different texture and design pattern at the back. There are two cameras at their back, including a fingerprint scanner and a flashlight. The camera section looks so much alike, but it's worth mentioning that the curves and sizes are different. The main camera of the POP7 Pro and Smart7 Plus are 13 megapixel and 8 megapixel for the ITEL A60. The camera test will come in a moment, so just hold on. In the left corner, they have their SIM house. The power and volume buttons are aligned to the right corner with a little variation as well. At the bottom, you will find their charging port, microphone, speaker and audio jack. About the audio jack, I tell A60 has it at the top of the phone. This is really not cool and I explained why it is not cool in the review video of the A60. Please find the link in the description. Design-wise, this Smart 7 Plus looks better than the other two devices, and my second option is the Technopop 7 Pro. There is a slight difference in their camera performance, despite that the Smart 7 Plus and the Pop 7 Pro have the same camera sensor. Pictures taken with the Pop 7 Pro appears to be sharper, while the Smart 7 Plus maintains better color. 
I tell a system may look good at first glance, but careful observation shows that lots of image details are missing. As I mentioned in the review video of the Smart 7 Plus, the camera has a unique feature that is quite surprising. It has the option to set grid lines over the screen when you are about to take picture, and you can also set the phone in such a way that mainly touching any part of the screen takes photo. I checked the other devices for these features and they have them as well. The only exception I found is that only Pop 7 Pro supports a arrow shot mode and only Smart 7 Plus supports wide selfie mode. The wide selfie mode of the Smart 7 Plus is way more useful than the a arrow shot of the Techno Pop 7 Pro. So as far as the camera is concerned, Smart 7 Plus is the clear winner here. About the display, it's hard to find a budget device with over 720 by 1612 pixel resolution. This is the same display for all three phones, but there are slight differences and the Smart 7 is also the winner here. They have about the same screen brightness with a great display. I'm actually surprised that ITEL A60 can compete with these other phones here. However, A60 does not support minimizing screen, a feature I believe is so useful and can only be found in the Infinix Smart 7 Plus and the Techno Pop 7 Pro. On the display performance, you won't have issues with the Smart 7 Plus, but the Pop 7 Pro sometimes hardly respond to touch, so you might have to touch some apps repeatedly before they will open. The responsiveness of the ITEL A60 is even worse. On gaming, Smart 7 loads games faster, definitely because of its octa-core CPU. Whatever the case, it is the best device for gaming among these phones. An obvious difference between the Pop 7 Pro and the Smart 7 Plus is that Techno Pop 7 Pro lacks a bit. This happens even when you are just scrolling through contents with no background app running. This means that it will even get worse with multitasking. With these specs, I guess you already get the point by now. 72,000 Naira features from 72,000 Naira phone, 67,000 Naira features from 67,000 Naira phone, and 46,000 Naira features from 46,000 Naira phone. Let me know what you think in the comment section and see you in my next video.